I would use uh, and well, hello, beautiful people. I'm t what was that? What was that? Hello beautiful people, I'm Tiffany SM. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. For today's video, it's all about five minute makeup. And this is the kind of makeup you can do if you're going to run errands, if you're going to the grocery store, if you're in a hurry, or if you just don't feel like being bothered with a full face of makeup, because Lord knows, as much as I love makeup, I don't want to wear a full face of it every day. So yeah, this is five minute makeup and also a DIY tinted moisturizer with three different lip options. So if you would like to see this video, then please just keep watching. Okay, so first I would suggest starting with a primer. And on a day where you're doing five minute makeup and you're in a hurry, I would get a primer to just tackle whatever it is your biggest skin issue is. For example, they make primers if you have redness. If you have oily skin, they make mattifying primers. They make primers for dry skin that are moisturizing. They make primers to minimize your pores. So I would suggest like, because this is a look that's not gonna give you a lot of coverage, so whatever your biggest skin issue is, I would use a primer to combat that. So I like to use the Pore Minimizer by Benefit to get into my pores. Um, typically, I would use this and something else on the perimeter of my face because with a pore minimizing primer you just want to put it where your pores are um yeah you wouldn't want to put this all over your face just tap it in where your pores are but on a look like today i'm not doing two primers so i'm just gonna tackle my pores and call it a day and just the tiniest little bit it does not take much at all and then you just pat it wherever you have pores and you guys I'm obsessed <laughs> with this stuff it's a miracle worker but I like to use a primer before I do anything else to give it time to sink into my skin and really give it time to do its job and let it create that barrier between foundation and my face but yeah just pat that in wherever you have pores and let's get on my nose and it's like they just disappear right before your eyes yes okay simple enough and I always moisturize my lips before I start my makeup routine but for today nothing fancy just the trusty old EOS So on days where I do five minute makeup, I like to do just really quick natural looking brows. I don't like to neglect them because your brows are so important and they frame your entire face, but just filling them in naturally, it really, really makes a big difference. So that's the next thing we're gonna do. First, I just like to brush them in place real quick and you would be surprised how big of a difference doing this makes, but it does, it makes a huge difference. And do the other side. All right, next we're just gonna fill them in really quickly and really naturally. And for this, I like to use my Avon Luxury Brow Liner, I think is what it's called. But this is the pencil I like to use when I just want a natural brow. Quick, fast, and in a Alright, 
brows are done. Next thing I'm going to do is go in with this NYX Control Freak Gel. Focus. There we go. Thank you. And this is just a clear brow gel. And if you have thicker brows, you don't even need to fill them in. You can just set them with this. But I love this stuff. It's just a clear gel and it just locks your brows in place. All done. Okay, so the brows are done. The next thing I'm gonna do is move on to my face and this is something I love to do. It's a DIY tinted moisturizer. And as much as I would love to say that I figured this out on my own, I did not. I saw this on Pinterest and I thought, well, that just might work. And it does. So what you do is you just take a moisturizer and I'm using my Andalou Naturals Ultra Sheer Daily Defense Facial Lotion. They kill me with these super long names. But anyway, <laughs> I love this stuff. But all you do is just take a little bit and I'm placing it on the back of my hand here to warm it up. And about that much. And then take a concealer that is the same color as your skin tone. And I will be using the LA Girl HD Pro Conceal in the shade Espresso. And just add it to it. Okay, I know that looks a hot mess. But anyway, there's the concealer and the moisturizer. And then I'm just going to take my Real Tip. My Real Techniques Expert, what is it called? Face brush. And then just mix it together. And then just put it on my face, like so. And I mean, you can use your fingers. I just like using a brush because it's gonna give you a little bit more coverage. But you can use your fingers, a sponge, whatever. And then just put it all over the face and blend. a little shiny but that'll go away as it sinks into the skin plus these lights are not helping and we're gonna set it with a powder but I think the skin looks healthy you got a little bit of something but not too much so the next thing I like to do is if I have any breakouts or areas that I want more coverage I'll take this concealer and just go over that I'm actually having a decent skin week this week so I'm not really gonna touch up anywhere however what I also like to do if I'm not wearing eyeshadow take the concealer and just dot some on my eye the concealer will cover up any veins discoloration and just make your eyes look brighter without you having to do much I'm here for it so just blend that out it for the eyes. Next, let's set the face and today I'm going to be using my True Match by L'Oreal and I'm in the shade C8. Then take the same powder and then just go over and set that concealer on your eyes. And that way it'll lock it in place and it will not crease. Bam. Done. Yes. When I said done, I didn't mean like literally all the way done. <laughs> but anyway, we're almost done. That's the good news. So next, just go in with a mascara. And I don't know why I'm showing you this like you can see that. But this is a little sample size and it's MAC and it is the zoom fast black lash and i am obsessed and on days where i do no makeup makeup this is what i like to use because it just makes your lashes look so pretty i love this mascara and every time i order from mac i get a sample of this i guess eventually i'll buy it <laughs> but this mascara is bomb you guys love it 
Okay, we are done with the face and now we just have to do the lips. And I thought it would be fun to give you three different lip options. So yeah, I'm gonna give you three different lip options and the lips is really what's gonna pull everything together and make you look like you spent more time than what you actually did. That's why I love lipstick so much. It can completely transform your look. So yeah, let's jump into the lipsticks. The first one I'm gonna show you is this one by Milani. And it is in the shade Teddy Bear. And it's just a really pretty nude. So yeah, if you're a nude type of girl, then this one's for you. show you a red because in my opinion you can never go wrong with red I love red lipsticks but this one is by wet n wild in the shade this one is by wet n wild in the shade stoplight red I think yeah and it's gorgeous although I haven't actually tried this one on my lips yet but we're gonna find out I thought it would be fun to do a purple. So this is in the shade Grind. And this is a lippy stick from ColourPop. And, <laughs> whoa. I promise you it does not look in person how it looks on camera. And this kind of makes me afraid <laughs> to put it on. But you know what? I'm going to put it on anyway. This is a beautiful shade. And don't be afraid to rock a bold lip. Have some fun with your makeup. Okay, beautiful people, that is it. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a, a big thumbs up. That really helps me out by knowing if you like the content or not. Also, please subscribe. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to have you. And leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite lip option was because I, I would like to know. So yeah, that's it. And I will see you guys next time. And until next time, Take care. Bye, guys.